The clients I work with tend to have worked in blue collar jobs. It seems like the dirtier the job, the more you are affected by asbestos. My grandfather was a mechanic and a lot of the cars he worked on were chock full of asbestos. My dad was exposed to asbestos when he worked in a titanium foundry in the 1950s. My grandmother was exposed to asbestos insulation and protective gear while she was working on an assembly line in an electronics factory. She was also exposed to asbestos by laundering my grandfather's dirty work clothes. All of my family breathed in a lot of asbestos, and they all developed asbestos-related cancers. So if you think you've been exposed to asbestos, or have any symptoms of an asbestos-related illness, be sure to see a healthcare professional and get tested, even if it's just for your peace of mind, because asbestos-related illnesses can take a while to appear. What I do is help clients receive compensation that was set up by the justice system for people just like them. Courts ordered asbestos companies to place their insurance money in trusts to pay for people's illnesses and injuries related to asbestos exposure. Most of the time, we don't even have to file a lawsuit, but nearly half of the funds have still gone unclaimed, mostly because people either don't know they were injured by asbestos or they don't know they're entitled to compensation. If you think you may have been exposed to asbestos, you can search our online database. It's on our website. Our database contains detailed information about thousands of companies, work sites, and products that contained asbestos. If you are diagnosed with an asbestos-related illness, get in touch by phone, text, or email. I'll listen patiently to your story and explain your rights under the law, with no charge and no obligation. We can speak by video conference or any way that works for you. I learned about the dangers of asbestos too late to help my family, but maybe I can help yours.